Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Saturday stream today for some more F122 and we're going to be doing the Canadian Grand Prix and as well as the mind-blowing, the awesome Silverstone Grand Prix uh, here today for my career mode. Now, if you guys were here yesterday, you guys know that we did Monaco, we did Baku and both of those races eh, kind of left off in a, you know, a different ending basically uh when we raced at monaco we got a really great finish i think we finished in p14 p15 so not too shabby for the team but when we raced around baku uh we uh, finished like around p20 or it was p19 or p20 which is one place ahead of latifi which is basically our uh rival for the season and um yeah it's not just not a good race around baku so we're gonna hopefully change that luck around maybe get a good finish uh at uh, canada and i feel very very confident that we can do really really well on silverstone we just gotta make sure that the, all the upgrades work properly and actually fit the car and don't fail as well as uh just make sure that uh, as well as our teammate just drives to his you know absolute best and I think we should be all right. I think we should be all right. But uh, I just want to say a huge thank you for everyone for tuning in right now. I know it's a weird time that I'm streaming because I usually don't really stream at this time. But uh, yeah, welcome in everybody here. Uh, just Leia, hello, welcome in. Uh, Kraken Gaming, what's going on? He says hi. Sorry, I've been missing the stream. All good, all good, Kraken. Uh, hope everything's going well with you. Hopefully school's. Well, I think school's done with you for for you, right? You guys are on summer break, but because uh, I don't know, it's been a while since I've been in school, <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, if, if you're on summer break, hopefully your summer break has been going well. And uh, as well as everybody else, hopefully everybody's summer is going great. If you live in the southern hemisphere, hope your winter is going great. Because I think it's winter time now for you guys. But yeah, we're going to get cracking, get right into it. And um, let's hop into the gameplay. So let's uh, pull up F1. One second, let's turn that up go transition to that let me know if the uh the foot camera is looking good it should be all right i think we're good for that and uh, you should be able to still hear me make sure that everything all right yep everything is looking great <laughs> robert thank you so much mate he says you're an absolute legend really really appreciate it, my guy yeah i'm hope i'm hoping today we can drive like legends and we can actually finish in a good spot but We'll figure it out here. We'll figure it out. But um, yeah, let me know how everything is looking. Let me know how everything is sounding. And so we're going to hop straight into the gameplay now. Put on our trusty little headphones here. And uh, we'll see how we do around Canada and Silverstone. So here we go, guys. Canadian Grand Prix around montreal for the first time we're actually back at a proper racetrack because we've been racing around basically you know um city tracks so it feels great to be somewhat at a, yeah, a real racetrack because i know montreal is basically in a park so um it, it, i mean in my opinion it's, it's basically like a real racetrack so well, it feels great to finally be back to one try to put some of the older components here um for practice how bad is this? Production power, 69%. I think we should be alright with that. Um, 77, no. 71, I think we're almost done with that one then. And it's just going to keep getting better and better. The durability. Right now the morale is high in durability, which is great. Which means that if we do purchase any more durability parts, we should be alright. But, like I said, we're... We don't really want to focus on durability. We want to focus more on getting everything else upgraded first, because um, you know we can take the we could take the hits, we could take the penalties if we're starting off in the back. Um, so it's just mainly when we start, you know, qualifying like around P15, P14, better positions. Those are the times where we're gonna need durability and just make sure that it's actually, um, you know, gonna be able to last, you know, eight. 10 rounds here or not eight ten rounds but like seven eight rounds rodrigo hello he says honestly a good spot is 13th or 15th so yeah my team you start with the worst facility so you upgrade the slowest and get the least re resource points so you won't jump other teams anytime soon 
By the way, upgrade facility unlocked new upgrades, so you might want to save up already for season two. Is it already too late though, Rodrigo? By the way, also welcome in. Great to see you here, my guy. I know we haven't raced against each other in a long time on GT7, so hope everything's going well with you. But um Yeah, I mean we we upgraded our aerodynamics facility. We up uh, upgraded the uh, the fabrication so that we can simultaneously uh, do two. And then we also did the build time so we can speed it up a little bit for the arrow. The next one we're gonna probably upgrade here is gonna be chassis. And I'm debating which one I wanna do, but we need to save a little bit of money because we gotta pay our teammate. I think I'm, I forgot how much we're paying for our teammate right now. I think we're, our contract with him is, what is it? 1.5 million dollars base salary so we need to have 1.5 million dollars um by july 11th and right now we are in june 16th so we need to save the money so if we want to keep him for another year because i, I kind of want to keep marcus marcus has been doing all right his focus doesn't seem to be doing the best but um he's been he's been outperforming us so that's that's good um as far as looking at the driver lineup right now i mean we could probably when we get closer to june 11th we could kind of see like what the driver market's looking like but i'm, I'm pretty happy with marcus right now um got david coltard <laughs> can we get david coltard really interesting okay could get felipe massa i didn't even know we can get some of these older drivers nico hulkenberg nico our, our guy got mark Oh, it actually looks like Mark, huh? Interesting. Um, we got some other guys here too. Dan Tictum, Oscar Piastri. So, David Beckham. Oh wait, I thought it was I thought it was our David Beckham, like uh the British, <laughs> Ryan Nassani. Yeah, I mean we can can reevaluate here. I mean, like I said, I've been happy with Marcus's performance, but we'll have to we'll have to see. And luckily, our income is bigger than our outgoing, so that's good. Finance history, our finances is, are is all right. Let me see, aerodynamics is down, chassis is down, or not down, but that's what we're spending our money on. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. All right. Let's uh, go to the Pirelli hot lap. Let's do our Grand Prix. And then after that, we'll, we'll figure out where we're at money-wise money and all these other stuff. Because, um, yeah, we got the British Grand Prix. And then we're going to, after that, it'll be hitting closer closer to June, uh, July 11th. I've been watching and re-uploading streams for this. It's pretty fun. Yeah, it's it's really, really fun. All right. Let's see what we can do here with the, the Merc, right? Yeah. These I'm pretty decent at the uh, autocross. They're a lot easier than the uh, average lap time challenges. Can't take it flat out. Let's get on the power. Back on the power, come on. Oh, it's getting a little bit windy here. I think I'm making us do an entire lap. <laughs> so we head down one long straight to lead us to the wall of champions. Oh no, there it is, okay. Woo! We just got the gold. <laughs> I think we, we just beat it by six seconds. I feel like I could have been a little bit more aggressive, but 
Yeah, we'll take it. Six seconds, not too shabby. Okay. All right. Now let's get back to the um, to the actual action here, and then get into our into our car. Gain a hundred thousand dollars right there. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel. Okay. Yeah, our durability. We're gonna. We're just going to hold off on that. We really need to upgrade these other two. Um, at least our aerodynamics is trying to go up there. Our powertrain is starting to go up there. But our car right now, it's... Like, compared to everybody else's shit. But, uh, yeah, at least at least the... Uh, we got some upgrades coming up. Just want to make sure. We do have... Uh, can I see? Development? Yeah, so in development, in development, in development. Okay. All of them supposed to be hopefully done by the end of this race. Let's see activities. Can I look at the actual calendar? What are we looking at? Season results. <laughs> Jesus, look at that. 17th, 20th, 19th, 13th. Miami was our best finish, huh? 13th. Interesting. We're losing against a rivalry of Yuki. But I'm trying to figure out how do I see the uh, calendar? Is there a calendar around here? Da -da -da. I feel like it's not showing me anything, but continue on them but we know that i think after this race that's when all the parts should be either completed or failed cross my fingers they get completed and they don't fail on us but we'll see we'll see all right well here we go canadia grand prix and we got qualifying and race both in the wets that's gonna be probably beneficial towards us because we're not gonna have to focus too much on the um on the um, uh, basically how hard a car is is compared to everybody else. Sorry, I was got I got a little bit distracted. It's the next race after this. It's gonna be Great Britain, Austria, and then France, huh? So we want to have at least a good power unit before we hit Spa, because that's what that's gonna be a very very hungry um, straight line speed track. France two just a bit. But we definitely want to have a lot of power before we hit uh, uh, Spa. And if we have good power in Spa, we should be good at uh, Monza. I'm trying to think of any other power-hungry track. Mexico, I guess Mexico is also pretty power-hungry. So, yeah. I think right now we could just focus on just building up the aerodynamics and chassis. Because this aerodynamics can be very, very important around Great Britain. Uh, definitely through Austria. Hungary is very, very dependent on downforce, so we definitely need to get downforce down um, as soon as possible. So, all right, go to quick practice and resource points without, without having to drive the practice program yourself. No, no, let's do a try. All right. <clears throat> Honestly, one of the appeals of your career mode for me is you're actually <laughs> ah, Rodrigo. <laughs> that hurt. He says, because Yarno or TM Mark Duke of the world are already scoring by round two, so that's when I lose interest because it shouldn't be happening. Yeah. Well, I don't even know. What what does Ben run his AI on? I know Yarno is running his on 100, 110%, right? We're running at like 84%, but I'm just still not used to this game. I think once we get used to the game, we should be all right with, um, you know, we should be able to push it up to like 90s, maybe 100. Maybe, but yeah. So let's just try to figure out what is the quickest way to drive this game and how to attack the exits. Because the exits is where I'm noticing that's where I'm losing all my time. But I've been trying different... Um, I've been trying different things like uh, coming off in a higher gear or just not shifting it as much. Yeah. Ben usually does 103 and 105. Nice. It's in the 100 for sure. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. One pop news. Alright. So we're going to do just a quick track acclimatization here. See how well we do.
Ooh, almost lost it back in. Uh, break the bits early. Actually, we're doing all right here. We actually got a lot of purple sections. Which is good. Oh, purple gates. All right, we got to definitely do a little bit better than the Wall of Champions, though. That chicane was not the strongest. Oh, I've almost lost it back in. Ah, that could have been a, a full lap of purples if we could have continued that going. We just lost the back end. Oh well. It was a good it was a good first one though. So I'll take that. 445, I think, was the points, but yeah, it was decent. It was decent. Almost purple and everything. So we'll we'll take that for right now. Now let's do race strategy. Stay within two one two uh, one. There's off the raising line. No, we're good. Stay within 2.0 meters of the racing line for the entire lap. And we get weight redistribution. Okay. I, don't, I feel like my, my, my racing line, though, is a little bit, you know, unorthodox compared to, like, what they want me to run, though. So, I don't know. I don't know if I can do that one. But we'll do the... The race program here. Definitely gonna need all the help we can with the CRS because um, our power's gonna be down. Luckily, Canada is not too heavy on the power, or not too reliant on the power. Uh, a bit too late. Come on. Probably break a bit later. Maybe we do have to put in a better power for this track, or not this track, but this power. Oh no, Jeez, I cannot speak right now. This practice program. <laughs> So we're losing a little bit of time on the straights. Okay, that lap was no good. We need you to improve on that. Again, a bit too late.
All right, we're there. Come on. Still probably a bit too early on the brakes. And we lost it back. All right, let me let me switch out the part. Um, I think we're gonna need to put a better power unit right now, or some parts at least for the power unit. So let's get into that right now, just so we can get that practice. That we don't need. It's it's more like the turbocharger, I think. So at the time. Yeah, we'll just get the repair time. Come on, change the part. There we go. Okay. Let's get back to the race strategy and see what we can do here. I wonder if it's going to be rain the entire race or if it's just going to start off like dry and then switch over to rain. Either way, all the practice that we're doing right now, it's not going to be worth it because it's just all going to be <laughs> wet by the race or quality. Yeah, you can just see with the new power unit. Look at how much time we already gained. Bit too late on the brakes. Uh, sorry, I'm getting back some of that time. We should be able to make the delta time. Yeah, there we go. Much better but corner that time. Bit too late on the brakes on that other corner. That time was better. That chicane. See if we can hit the hairpin. I should get the fifth gear, but we're still gonna hit the delta time, which is good. I have one more lap. Oh, a little bit of contact with the wall. Still doing all right, though. <laughs> oh, we are out of URS. Gonna get on the power fast enough. Oh, uh, can we hit our delta time? 
Ah, uh, <laughs> just to see the track limits. Okay, you weren't quite good enough that lap. Try again. All right, we're on back out because we have a broken wing, so there's really no point to continue on with that. Carl, welcome in. Says, hey, with the five Ys. Great to see you here, my guy. All right. Car repairs have set us back a little. Let's see what we can do. So the race strategy, not too shabby, but we'll do the tire management program and then we'll, we'll call it there. We'll hop into quality. I think Canada is just one of those tracks I just have a good understanding of because I've, I've raced here so many times. So uh, I kind of already figured that we were going to be somewhat decent with pace, but hopefully, hopefully in quality we can do all right too. This test is all about tire management. Try to control the slick through each corner and take extra care. I think we're going to be all right with tire management because I, uh, if you can see on the race strategy one, we're doing pretty well with our tire. Um, with a tire wear. Coming back up. Look at that. All the way up to purple. Come on. Ah, oh, beautiful. We are mastering this right now. Now all we gotta do is just hit the uh, wall of champions correctly. There we go. Easy. Nice way. <laughs> Alright. Not too shabby. Alright. I'll take that. Let's go back to the garage and um, see how we do um, during quality. So we're going to fit the new parts in. Let's see. Let's, uh, let's exit here. Can we exit out this part too? Go back to the main. Oh, never mind. We don't want to do that. Alright. So yeah. Let's, uh, let's put in a new... Um, component for the MGUK because MGUK is not looking too hot right now. We'll add that. I think everything else should be alright. Energy store, we should be fine with that. The MGUH is a little bit. It's at 43%, which it should last the race. Everything else, I think, should be alright. Gearbox might be a bit interesting. 43%. We just gotta hope that it survives that race, and then we'll probably can uh, upgrade it or switch out for a new one when we head to Silverstone. <laughs> Cheers, Daniel. It says, got good pace. Yeah, hopefully we got good pace during quality, though. Um, also, I want to make sure that we're on the right... It's um, time to remind ourselves of our top three, who are Sainz, Leclerc, and Lewis Hamilton. I also want to make sure that we're on the right, um, what do you call it? AI strength. So let me just double check here. Oh, I guess I could go right here and then there and settings. Which one's settings again? Yeah, that one's settings. Okay. I'm starting to learn the buttons better. Yeah, 84% AI. If we get a really good qualifying time, then we'll, we'll bump it up to like 89 or 90. But I think... We'll do 85 for right now. 85 should be all right. Okay. Let's go to quality now, guys. Let's see how this goes. Wait, let me see. Yeah, let's just go straight to quality. See how we do.
<laughs> yes, Mr. Metal. We are simp racing. My name is Cox, and we are driving the 69 car. <laughs> Look at that resource points. There we go. Gets in there. 1600. Fortunately, we can't use it on anything because all our spots are taken, so yeah. And there it is, guys. Quali is going to be just full wet. I think it's going to be intermediates, right? Yeah. It didn't look like it was too heavy of rain. But as, as the... Uh, as it progresses, it looks like it's going to get heavier and heavier in the rain. So we want to get out on the track as soon as possible. And then during the race, it looks like it's going to be good. And then it's going to start getting a bit damp as it progresses through the race. So, all right. Let's see how we do here. Make sure we have the right setup. You guys are curious about seeing what setup I'm running. This is the setup that I'm running right now. All right. I think we should be good. All right. Off to the track. See what we can do here for our quality around uh, Can Canada. <laughs> oh, yeah. Definitely a blessed team, Mr. Metal. All right. Woo. Yeah, we're going to have to keep it at a higher gear. That's for sure. Alex Albon with a 121. Let's see what we can do here. Not sure yet what our pace is looking like. Definitely feel like I could be breaking a bit later though on some of these corners. We might do another lap. Knock this down to 60. Ugh. Okay, we're gonna do one more lap. Just ahead of Armstrong, just a bit. Okay, just two laps of fuel remaining now. Our time is going up. That's good. Oh, we're shot just a bit. Our time was going up. It's not a half a second up. Come on. Eight tenths, come on, one second, come on. Ah, no, not enough. But we are close to our uh, teammates, so that's good. We're going to try to come back out with a fresher set of inters. I was starting to get it at, at the end there. There was one huge mistake that we had that definitely cost I'd us about a good six tenths. In these unpredictable conditions. All right, what are we looking at on, on weather right now? 
Oh, it's just gonna keep getting worse. Alright, we gotta get out. We gotta get out. There's a bit of a... <laughs> really, Daniel? Yeah, Canada's America's hat. I like to call it Canadia, just, just for shits and giggles. I don't know why. Alright, yeah, differential, we'll keep it at 55. We want to have a low differential. We can do these races, but alright. Keep it away from the puddles. Oh, it's getting worse. Yeah, this this is getting a lot worse. I think we just missed our opportunity to put in like a very good lap because right now this rain is just getting worse and worse. Oh, yep, 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 yep. I'm losing a ton of grip. <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna get any better. We're just gonna we're just gonna bring it in. There's no there's no point in pushing it. All we're going to do is just end up destroying our car. We know we got decent pace. So I think we'll be alright during the actual race. <sighs> we're going to hopefully have strategy on our side. We'll hopefully have strategy on our side when we get to um, the actual race. Because the race, it says, is supposed to start off on somewhat dry conditions and then it's just going to explode into raining conditions so um i think we might start off on the softs for the actual race or maybe the medium mediums we'll start off on the mediums because it said the rain's going to come in like 10 15 minutes um when the race starts so we'll start off on the medium see if we can make those last all the way up until the rain starts coming down we'll switch off to the intermediates um and then switch off to the wets if if it gets to that point where we need to go to the wets, but for right now I think we're we're done for this sesh. There's there's no point in continuing on. I don't think the rain's gonna let up at all. Yeah, look at that 90% chance of rain. So we're just uh, it's not gonna it's not gonna let up here. So we'll just go off to the race and looks like we qualified P 20th, which just sucks because I know we had at least a good second on us. We could have probably been P 17, P 16, but we got a decent pace, so we'll, we'll, we should be alright. Turn race. Yeah, save the equipment, definitely. Uh, Sean, we're doing uh, an actual setup. I, I got it from uh, YouTube in. We're all ready for tomorrow's yeah. race, but before we begin, let's have a quick look at those who'll be fronting the grid. She's Charles with the 118. And Max Verstappen. Well, that wraps up qualifying, but don't worry. Alright, good job on Marcus. So he picked up the pieces and he uh, was able to out-qualify us, so good on him. All right. Off to the race. We're back once again beside the St. Lawrence River here in Montreal for the Canadian Grand Prix. Canada. First move to the variants of this track. Oh, okay. in 1978. Oh, Jesus. Drop my. It was won by none other than Gilles Villeneuve, the first Canadian to ever win his home race. And in whose honor Should the circuit will here. be renamed. With top speeds of around 210 miles per hour, heading into the overtaking opportunity. Oh, there's elevation 13. around here. I never really actually noticed it. Seven miles of the circuit, Gilles Villeneuve. Ah, okay, very, very slight the elevation. On the Formula One calendar, there are 14 corners in total, with 60% of the all the leaves. Full <laughs> and average speeds clock in at about 130 miles per hour. Look at Let's that beautiful flag. Grid order so proud to be a Canadian. Race. A fantastic effort from I'm not Charles really Canadian Leclerc though. Yesterday, and it's put him on pole. Charles and Leclerc and Lewis Hamilton on the, the front, front row. row. Interesting. Looking okay. The rest of today's grid, we have Verstappen, Verstappen Sainz, and Sainz in third and fourth, Russell, and then Russell and, and Bottas. Bottas. Okay. Look at Bottas over here. Where's Perez at? Norris and Daniel Ricciardo, Sonoda, 
Mick Schumacher. All right, I can't give up. <laughs> I don't, I don't care anymore. To go to the track for the beginning of the race, but before we do, yeah, for a world of the groundhogs. What types of is this really Canada? I don't see any groundhogs. Into today's race. Well, there's a lot for all the maple leaves that. The team have to keep in mind when going View from lookout. Race. Welcome tires, in. Says hi, fuel, Andrew. What's going on, my guy? Recovery system. The list goes on and on. But I think the key. Look at that beautiful car. Will come down to the pit stop strategy. Come in too soon, and you might find yourself needing more than one stop. Too late, Galando. and you're putting yourself at a disadvantage <laughs> by spending longer on worn tires. That actually looks like Norris. Like he would actually be doing something like that. Like he'd be like, okay, "Oh yeah, yeah, we'll what you can do. whatever." Don't Norris says when he's in his car. Okay, so let's look at the uh, forecast here. It's showing sunny, cloudy, sunny, and then rain. Uh, how many laps is it? Thirty-five. Yeah, 35 laps. All right. We'll do 36.3. I think that's been like the sweet spot, like a, a lap in 0.3 afterwards. We'll start off on the mediums. We'll try to make those last longer than 15 minutes because I think it'll probably start raining around that area. And we'll just try to hope that we can plan everything correctly and stay away from trouble. And maybe, just maybe, we can come home with some points here. Last time we had a rain race was at Imola, and at Imola we, we did a decent job, but we just messed up the fuel strategy, and that costed us a really good finish. So I don't want to have the same, same mistake on this race, especially because we know we have decent pace here. On button. That's 65 for right now. Where's the, um... How's their engine? Oh, it's not showing it. It shows its screen, so... I think we'll be alright. We'll definitely put in a, a new power unit on a lot of components. Or not the new power unit, but a lot of components on when we get before Spa. Alright. Let's go with these bad boys. Keep the rears. Yeah, we want the rears to be as warm as possible because we want to get a good launch heading into turn one. But we also want to avoid all the carnage that might happen going into turn one because Canada seems to always produce that heading to that first corner just because of how, how uh, sharp the corner is. Keep warming up the tires, make sure the brakes are warm. Definitely heat up the rears. Perfect, all right. Here we go, guys. We're starting right behind our teammate, MP20, right behind Guan Yuzhou. Five red lights. And away we go. Ah, not a decent start. Oh, Latifi, Latifi. Jesus. Carnage going on there between our teammate and Guan Yu Zhou. Oh, a little bit of floor damage. Play doesn't affect us too much. Whoa, someone's really, really slow up ahead. Send off on the inside of the TP. Ah, found the pocket early. We gotta get around him. Ooh. 
Ooh. Really, really big back up there. Oh. Just ran over that pit of carbon fiber. Wonder how our floor damage is. Okay. Sucks that we have to run around with a damaged floor, but it's just the way it goes sometimes. If you can make it work this time, come on, come on. The underbody's taken a little damage, just watch out for it. I know, I know. Maybe once the DRS starts appearing here, might be able to get around with TP. Oh, uh, Marcus! Where are you going, mate? Oh! <laughs> Ah, oh, come on. Oh, let me, let me rewind on that. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> All right, let's go right here. Hopefully, that's our only rewind. I still can't believe we damaged the floor. Okay, so the car behind's just come in. They're now on the soft tire. Soft tires on the car behind. <laughs> yeah, we live with the flashbacks here. Alright, see so if we can get some DRS. Action going on here. Ah, it's going to pop this early. Okay, you're within one second of the car ahead. Get ready to use DRS for the overtake. Well, I've been ready, mate. Like someone's going slow up ahead. Not sure who it is though. Okay, the underbody's taking some damage. You might start to notice it Uh, you gotta let some of this DRS, some of this slip. The rear tires are a bit bad, but just gotta make it last till the rain. Whenever that comes. I need Marcus to pull away from the TV so we can get, you know, in a good position to go for an overtake. For now, we're just saving ERS. When we do get ourselves into a good overtaking position, we can use everything and just get around them. Not have ourselves a failed attempt.
just a little bit there just so we, we can stay within cliff stream range. Decent exit. Oh, that's the Martin went through. Who is that? Oh, it's on Sonoda. Yuki's got damage. Or Yuki's got a problem. Not damage, but that's going to be great for us because that's our rival. A bit sketch right there. Yeah, even with the broken floorboard, it doesn't feel like it's too bad. Like, I don't really feel any any difference in the uh, downforce. A little bit of ERS there. We're literally stuck in a DRS chain. Like, we cannot get away from each other. And no one could get past the other car. And again, we're going to make these tires last as long as we can because rain should be coming hopefully within, you know, 15, 20 minutes. I think if we come in, we should definitely switch off to the softs. Try to see if we can make those work. Just kind of take a little gamble. Oh, someone's off. Who's that? Oh, Ricardo. Our boy is out. It's unfortunate. Bad day for McLaren. So, yeah, still nothing about rain, huh? Alright, we gotta get back up to him. There's a little bit of time here. You're dropping a second a lap to the car behind. One second. Well, yeah, they're on soft, so I'm expecting to be a little bit quicker than us, you know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, we got a really, really good exit right there on the TP. It's just a matter of time before we go for an overtake here. Just setting ourselves up. Whoa, a little too close there. Let's 
see come on weather report really okay I'm kind of upset <laughs> I want to see rain come in like the next six laps and our engineer is telling us there's no threat of rain right now Yeah, we'll go to lap 17. That's good. That means that we're, we're doing pretty well with our tire, with our tire wear. If we can stretch it out to lap 17, that's good. So maybe it'll start raining around lap 17, hopefully. <laughs> Watching that rain at all. They're just pulling our leg. Got a bit too eager. It's just been literally us three, just nose to tail, nose to tail for the entire race. Almost lost the back end. <laughs> Sorry about that. They made a sing for you guys. Just almost lost a, a front wing right there. I don't know, I've been enjoying it more than F1 2021, but then again, I only played F1 2021 for like 10 hours at the most, or 15 hours. So I didn't give it really a fair chance. We gotta watch out for track limits. It's our first time playing that chicane. Hopefully that's our last. Oh, we got a great run of the TP here. Really can't do anything. nothing yet come on rain come please we need a rain dance here max turbo thank you so much for the five gifts the subs thank you my guy Really, really appreciate it. I'm gonna give Max up a huge thank you. Thank you so much, my guy. Also, how's your Saturday going? So I can't really talk right now. I'm kind of preoccupied with a but a goat right ahead of us of the TP. <laughs> but really, really appreciate it. <laughs> Definitely will make a good dental day, Max. Thank you so much. Oh, okay. Latifi's going on now. Armstrong. Well, at least he was.
Oh, now he's going on the outside. Hold up, guys. This is starting to get a little bit interesting here. Oh, and he gets around him right before the chicane. No, Marcus, how can you let that happen? Come on, get back at him. Doesn't look like he's got anything for Latifi. Oh, we might have to get around Marcus here. Oh, he overshot the corner. Ah, that was such a bad timing to have a mistake like that. Yeah, guys, I think if you click on the memberships on the top of the chat, you get a free m membership that way. Not really quite sure how it works. I've never had one of these. <laughs> so. Kind of trial and error right now. Yeah, definitely, Max. Alright, we gotta get around Marcus. Because he's been kind of holding us up here. Come on, Marcus. Give me the spot. Be a good teammate. Oh, he ran into us. Our own teammate. No. Oh, uh, I'm going to have to. That, that. That should not happen. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that, guys. I had to. Like, the, the, our own teammate wrecked us. <laughs> Cheers, troll. Can I tell Marcus to switch? No, I don't. I don't think I have anything. There's gotta be a button, right? Wait, that's not it. Now the question is, do we go to the softs or do we go to the hards? I think we gotta do softs. In case if it starts raining, I don't know. I mean, we're in 20th place, so I mean, or 19th place, what do we got to lose, you know what I mean? It's like something's going on up ahead, there's a big train for me. Let's see what the weather's looking like. No rain expected. No rain expected for the uh, definitely seem like the fastest tire uh, I don't know what to do. I think we'll we'll keep it at heart. Alright, Marcus is in the pits. He he does have priority because he's ahead of us, so makes sense. Let's see what we can do here. For end lap.
Alright, we gotta get off these tires. Look how bad they are. 41% on the rear left. Alright. Let's go to the pits. Make sure that we don't speed heading in there. And we're gonna switch off to the hards. Alright. Good, good, good. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, Stroll just got past us. Vettel's coming past. Ah, oh, we had a slow pit stop. No! Our left rear was too slow. Oh, we, we lost so much time because of that. Some pull a Yuki here. Ah, oh, we lost like two seconds because of that. God damn it. We gotta get these tires up to 10. Our pit crew screwed us, guys. They screwed us. Yeah, these should last until the end unless it starts raining. Oh, yellow flag. It's like we got a slow... Alpha Tower, or is that a Red Bull, or is that Alpine? Oh, it's a Williams, it's the Tifi. And right now, we are beating our constructors' rivals of the Williams. But Albon's gonna try to get us here. Try to defend him. Wow, he got us. Try to get him back here. We can't let the Williams finish ahead of us. We got one off, which is Latifi, which is good. Now Albon here, you gotta stay ahead of him. I still think he has to come into the pits though, because he started, he went to the softs. I think he went to the hards like around lap, what, nine? Let me see, what's our engineer saying? Yeah, how old are their hearts though? Come on, tell me. <laughs> that's our final warning. Next next corner cut or track extension, we get a uh, penalty. Gotta keep it within the track limits. Don't have anything on the straights yet. Let's see if we can force him into a mistake.
A ah. little bit of wheel spin. No, yeah, the AI are really, really decent on this game. They actually fight with you and defend where they need to. It's really interesting. I need to play a little bit of URS here, just so we can keep up with him. Ah. Sorry, I'm gonna have to use a flashback. <laughs> We're doing a little bit of cheating. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to limit the amount of flashbacks that we can do um, on the next race. Right now I have it on unlimited, but I definitely want to put it for like low and then eventually we'll do no. We started off with the career mode with no flashbacks, but I'm realizing that I'm, st I'm still not decent at this game. So I want to become decent so we can make less and less mistakes and then we can run without no flashbacks. Maybe season two will run no flashbacks entirety. So Monaco, that's going to be a... Yeah, three should definitely be good for the next one because uh, it's going to be a British Grand Prix, so really don't expect too much carnage. Are we catching up to our teammate? I can't tell if the gap is getting smaller. Surely looks like it is, though. Small mistake. No, yeah, I don't need a pit anymore. Unless if it starts raining, we don't need a pit. Losing a little bit of the back end while we're trying to push catching up to Albon. And I think we're catching up to our teammate. Uh oh. Oh, we got Sonoda right behind us. This is going to be interesting. We got a Williams ahead of us and we got Alphatari right behind us. It's definitely going to get interesting.
If Albon does catch up to Marcus, I hope Marcus can hold him up for a bit. Oh, Yuki's catching. We're sandwiched between two Red Bull drivers. Oh, no. Get away, Sonoda. Get away. Ah, I just sent it. Yeah, there's not much we can really do. He's on better tires. Better and fresher tires. We still have DRS. Leaders have caught up to us, so we're gonna have to uh, listen to the blue flash here shortly. Gotta wait for Hamilton and Science. Come on, Science, come on. Ah, I hate being a back marker. I wish we could actually, you know, be in the front. <laughs> but this is what Karimo is all about. Trying to build the best car you can so you can work your way to the front. Yeah, we're being lapped. So, okay, we got eight laps to go in this race, so should be a quick, quick eight laps. Then we'll, work, we'll focus on our uh, on our way to the Silver Stone. Oh, signs got around the uh, Hamilton. Oh, yeah, they're definitely hard to win. Especially when you don't have the right car. Like, right now, our car is just terrible. It's no excuse, though. Like, we should still be able to, uh... At least fight against the Williams. We kind of are. Albon's right there, but... Yeah, we're not... Really do anything much to catch up. Oh, now we got Russell right behind us. It's really starting to look like a Merck versus Ferrari championship battle. 
Well, we'll actually have to look at the standings now, because I, I think actually Max might still be in it. Perez for sure is not in it. We'll let Russell through here. Come on, Russell, come on, come on. Yeah, I'm hoping our second season does all right, Max. Yeah, that's kind of what we're focusing on right now is aero upgrades. And I definitely, like I noticed the car is a lot more stable in the corners than what it was in the beginning of the season. So, I am starting to, you know, you, you do feel the upgrades. Just sucks that, you know, it takes so long <laughs> to feel like a, a, a decent car. Oh, what is going on up there? Sonoda, what happened to him? Sonoda and Albon just lost so much time, huh? Oh, a little bit of contact. Where do we go? <laughs> Five laps to go. Drama happening in the rear. So you got Sonoda and Albon right next to each other. Ah, oh, come on. We gotta do everything we can here to get around Albon. And Sonoda, if we can. It's gonna be a little bit difficult with Sonoda, though. He's got really good tires. But I think Albon starts to start to fade. power too early oh yeah Albon's definitely fading here come on oh he overshot the corner oh he hit us why is everyone hitting us right there Peter, thank you so much for the donation just sneak it in gets in there all right we got around Albon Thank you so much for the two pounds, my guy. I'll read the uh, chat after the race. We gotta get the hell away from Albon now. Late, late race drama as Albon's tires are starting to fade. They don't have DRS. Three laps to go. Oh, he sent it. He sent it. He hit us again. <laughs> Album with an absolute missile right there. Gotta get the hell away from him. He's, he's turning into a little torpedo. Come on, pull away, pull away. I think he still has DRS. Luckily, we don't have any floor damage. I think he's going to have to obey these blue flags, though. Oh, he came into the pits. All right. Whew, all right, we don't have to worry about Albon anymore. We're going to finish ahead of the Williams, boys and girls. 
Just gotta keep it on the track for two more laps and we'll finish ahead of the Williams. I gotta let her stepping through. Go ahead, her stepping. Oh! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm gonna go through again. Sometimes these AI make stupid mistakes. That's why we have the flashback for stupid mistakes like that from the AI. <laughs> Just like real F1. <laughs> Bro, at the end of the race, Verstappen's gonna come after us and uh, punch us in the face or shove us out of the way, just like he did to Ocon. Alright, well, two more laps now. Come home. Or actually, no, this is the final lap. I forgot we're a lap down, so never mind. This is the final lap. So we just gotta go around one more time around Chill Villeneuve. And we're gonna come home with a P19 ahead of the Williams. One position behind Armstrong. Armstrong got lucky, though. We would have been around him if, if, uh, if our pit. Crew didn't screw us over. I really felt like we had the pace to be Marcus on this race. It's all right. It's gonna be P19. At least we finished ahead of the Williams. Like, oh. Just want to do a vi victory burnout. You know, just wanted to do a quick little burn up before we got to the end. Alright, let's just get it to the end now. P19, take it. Yeah, no more flashbacks. <laughs> Yeah, happy to see the Mercs are up in their game. I've been supporting Hamilton since stepped up into F1. Uh, Grenadian by birth, so yeah. Uh, I was hoping he could have gone to the 8th so he could retire. No, yeah, I, I, well, it should have been the 8th last year. I mean, come on, we all know last year was, was literally Hamilton's championship. Like, but, yeah. set themselves apart today? Well, Cheers, Troll. Yeah, this is a fun race. It, it, when we we're actually competitive and we actually can keep up with the AIs, these races are really, really fun. But we're definitely going to limit the, the flashback so we don't, we don't, you know, do too much throughout the season. I think I'm beginning a little bit too spoiled with it. But there we go. P18, P19 for Team Sim ahead of the Williams and the McLaren. Well, the one McLaren of uh, Ricardo. See where we're at first. Standings. Still ahead of Marcus. However, in this instance, and we're still ahead of the Williams, so. GG. You're going to DNA up two or from... I hope I said that correctly when pop. <laughs> Did I say that connect uh, correctly? Gren Grenadian from Granada. I've been a Ferrari uh, boy since birth, so I love seeing the Ferraris come back to form. McLaren are my second faves. Uh, just sad that Rick's doing poorly. The car doesn't. No, yeah. Well, the car doesn't seem to be doing well for anybody because of. Uh, well, I don't want to say for anybody, but it, it seemed to do all right in the beginning of the season. Um. And then just, uh, at least at the Austrian Grand Prix, it looked like Norris was struggling with it. I know last week, I, last week was all right, right, for Norris? Because he finished P6, P7? But last week was just a crazy, crazy race around um, 
Silverstone. Okay. $2.73 million in the bank right now. We don't have to renew any contracts until... Um, where's the uh, corporate stuff? There it is. All right. Contracts. We don't have to renew the contracts until the 11th. How do I... How do I renew it with him? Or how do we compare? Let's see. Oh, these are... Okay, I see what we're doing here. Huh. Yuri Vips looks like he's actually doing a lot better than him. And he's cheaper. We'll see. We'll see if we... Uh, if we switch out Marcus. Marcus is kind of expensive right now. Hmm. And all these guys are free agents. Can we get one for a really, really good price down here? Let's see. Liam Lawson. How's Liam looking? He's, uh... He's got everything good except for the experience. Experience doesn't seem to be too good. Uh, we'll put him on the watch. What else we got for a watch? Tio Porsche. It's good at everything besides experience. I'll watch him too. Um, for sure, one new is three million. Oh, that's that's messed up. How are you gonna put Sonoda behind Latifi like that? Latifi should be like at least three million. Zhou Guan Yu should be up here. Yeah, they they are doing my boys wrong. Marcus Armstrong right now, one point five million. Marcus Armstrong right now is the most expensive one on the on the field, but I think it's because he's in Formula One right now. I mean, I hate to do it to the guy, but we need to save some money, and if we can get you know you know a better driver for more money than yeah, or for less money. No, exactly, exactly, View. <laughs> oh, by the way, View, I'm sorry, I forgot to look at your uh, at your chat. Let me uh, go back to your super chat here. View says Merc still looking like Stingrays with no side pods. <laughs> nice, nice view, nice. By the way, really, really appreciate all you guys that subscribed. Awesome, awesome. Get back into it right now, and we'll head. Uh, we'll see what we do here as we head into the British Grand Prix. Max says, uh, Lando doesn't uh, does decently, but Rick is more of an overtake guy, and with the car lacking too much power and braking, he doesn't have his usual confidence. I can see that. I can see that. All right, we're gonna put Robert as well. So we're gonna have three guys that we're gonna keep an eye on. Liam Lawson. Theo Porsche and Robert Schwartzman. Yeah, we're not going to go down here. All right. See if we can do anything for the R&D. Is everything done with R&D or? We're still waiting for this to be completed. Oh, no, still in development. This is still in development. Oh, okay. Our, our spark plugs finished, finally. Um, it looks like we can't really upgrade anything yet for powertrain. I, I don't know if we need a better powertrain right now or not. I kind of want to see where it's at. Compared to everybody else. They're recommending this, but we can't... Oh, can we... Alright, let's... Let's actually just get the part that's, uh... Yeah, there we go. Can we rush it? No, we can't. So this will be ready for the French Grand Prix. So we'll do that. So we got two things developing right now. We got the wheel room covers. And then we got the rear wing upper flap. But we can upgrade the stators here. How bad are we out on power? Okay, so our power is alright. I think we 
we can we can be all right with the power let's save up for better chassis and aerodynamics for right now but because i think look at the power we're we're ahead of alpine we're ahead of our competitor williams so yeah where we're really gonna need the power though like again it's gonna be um when we get to before spa maybe a little bit of france so maybe we can get one part in for france but yeah and that we need to do this all right max number of upgrades let's do that that's very very important can we can we buy anything for chassis right now oh we can let's do it let's do it oh no we gotta wait for the department to be upgraded ah how long does it take june the 25th okay all right well in the meantime then let's uh let's do some of this stuff here powertrain team building yeah we'll do that aero department focus Yeah, because we, we need our arrow to get its morale up. Um, secondary. Then we'll do... We'll do some external training. Alright, let's advance this. Henry, welcome in. He says, hey, Andrew, hey, chat. Welcome in, Henry. He says, waiting on my load cells to arrive any minute. Oh, nice, Henry. Joining the load cell gang, you're gonna it's gonna be a okay, good week probably for you to get used to it before process. you're completely we'll used to the low cells. But once you get used to the low cells, you can never go back to regular. Okay. Let's let's go to the Pirelli hot lap around the British Grand Prix. And did anything get finished? What day is it? It's June the 30th, so. Did anything get finished? Yeah, it looks like everything got finished. Arrows arrows went through. Got the wheel rim cover, so we should be good compared to all the other teams on arrow. Let's see, how are we? Yeah, look at that. We're ahead of Aston Martin. We're ahead of Williams on the arrow department, which is great. Hey, and we got our chassis upgraded. How are we looking on that? We're ahead of the Williams. Seek. Roll dampers? No. This looks like it will help us out a lot more. Alright, let's let's build up the chassis here. How are we on power right now? Oh, Alpine. Alpine and McLaren had a well, I don't know if McLaren was below us, but Alpine got a got an engine boost. So we'll have to watch out for that. But we're still ahead of the Williams and Alphatari, so it's good on the powertrain part. And supplier upgrade has arrived. General wear on that. Let's just keep it the way it is. Okay, let's uh for triacomatization. Let's put that, yeah. yeah let's put that one on. What is it? 77? No, we should keep it the way it is. 69. Alright, that should be good for the track acclimatization um, event. Well, let's do the Pirelli, ha Pirelli Hot Lap. <laughs> I don't know yet, Max. We'll see. I'm still iffy about just continuing doing F122 um, videos and streams. I mean, I'm, I've been enjoying this game a lot more than GT7 recently, but if, if, if it... If we still continue building up the channel with F122 or just F1 content, then Probably. We'll probably do a co-op in the future. Maybe just make it only a, uh, like an actual stream. That's it. But, okay. Here we go. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Definitely need to slow down a lot more into cops. What car are we even driving? That's oh, an Aston Martin. Okay. Car feels like it has no downforce. Do maggots and baggots for the first time. We're gonna have to get on the brakes. 
Oh, we're off. Looking like Lando over here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly, Max. Feels so weird because you go from like a fast, really big downforce car to not that much downforce. Still pretty fast though. So we had our way through maggots and packets. Making our way to chapel and the hangar straight. All right, we'll take it. I don't care if that's a bronze or a silver, we'll just continue on. Yeah, let's just take it. Screw it. Nothing too crazy. <laughs> All right. Let's get to the British Grand Prix now. Our cash is getting pretty low. I know, I know. We need to shut down facilities for a while to cut down our running costs. Oh, we're good. So he's being over dramatic. All right. Let's go to the race weekend. What daddy? Hello, welcome in, my guy. It says Bono checking in. How's it going, Wadadi? Okay. Look at the new developments that we had. We had a drag reduction. We had weight reduction. We had engine power. We got general maintenance, general wear out of the way. So yeah, we got really good uh, package going in here for the British Grand Prix. Compared to everybody else, right now we are tenth. <laughs> so we we definitely have a better car than the Williams. I don't know if we have a the pace to keep up with the Aston Martins or the Alpha, but we we know we have a better car than the Williams. So that's good. That's good. We're looking to progress. Yeah. So our progress is now starting to go up a lot more than uh, the Williams here. They're looking a little bit stagnant. So we got aerodynamics part coming in, hopefully in a couple weeks, and then we got the chassis part coming in in like a month, basically. But all right, let's get into uh, practice one. Wait, oh, what are we looking at here? Practice one, practice two, dry, and then dry during the race and quality. I'll take that. <clears throat> just got done doing the lawn, so just oh, nice, nice. Yeah, without it, we've been we've been doing better. We've been improving. It's wet here, so no lot maintenance. <laughs> no, it's it's hot and dry over here, so yeah. Definitely no lot maintenance over here. Way too hot. Uh we got a fuel system fault. So we're gonna lose a little bit of time for a practice, but it's alright. Uh, okay, I hope you brought something good to read today. <laughs> There's an issue with the fuel system. We don't think it's anything terminal, but it is going to take some time to investigate and repair. It's all right. You guys already repaired it. Florida is hot too. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. I forgot to turn back to the garage. I forgot to put the, um, the setup. So... Go here. Load up the Silverstone setup. I've had a chat with the R and D team about the new parts, and we're happy that they've been integrated into the car. Okay. Do that. With any luck, you'll be able to feel the improvement. So go and give them a try. Fifty. In this, we'll keep it. Uh. All right, we'll keep it the way it is. Suspension, we'll keep it the way it is, and then brakes and tires. Keep it the way it is. Probably put that down, put that down like that. Let's see how that feels. Okay, now let's get into the practice program. So we'll do tire management first, because I don't think we're going to need too much of a power unit for tire management. I hope.
enough down force for the sweeping right hand. Yeah, yeah, you're right. We'll see how it feels. If we need more, then we'll put more down force. our power units affecting us too much here. Jeez, you gotta do a little lift off through Megats and Megats. I probably usually you don't have to lift off with F1 cars. Wow, our pace is looking really, really strong on this race. Well, not this race, but this practice quality. Or, not, I can't even talk about this practice session. Jesus. Where's my English? Look at that. Gets in there. All right. Let's see if we have to uh, increase the AI difficulty when we're done with this uh, practice sesh. So we got the tire management down. Let's look at race strategy. If we got race strategy down, then we'll just keep the engine the way it is for qualifying pace, and then we'll we'll switch out the components after the qualifying test. Alex, I have not even touched my team. I don't even know what that is, to be quite honest. Is it more like a... Uh... Wait, no, no, we are doing it my team. Isn't this it? For some reason, I was thinking like like FIFA Ultimate Team type deal. <laughs> Alright. See how we do here. We'll just use the flashback for right now, fast. Just gonna feel like redoing that, that lap, or that beginning intro. So far, our pace is looking decent. Go with the cops. The maggots of Eckets once again. A little bit late on the brakes. All right, good first lap.
Oh, no. Oh, wait. No. <laughs> I thought we went too wide right there. Huh. Interesting. I, I, I thought that would be off track, but I guess not. Hmm. Just missed it a bit that time. Easy to make it to Beckett's. Head down to Stowe. Yeah, we might need to crank up the uh, difficulty for this race. This is our practice pace. That's, I guess, one more, right? That's how we didn't go wide. But we did go wide into a... Uh... Ah, I forgot what corner that is. There's, there's so many corner names on this track that I always forget, like... Is it Luffield? That was Luffield, right? lost the rear huh I've never really lost the rear right there that was interesting luckily we were able to keep it on the track all right that should be it for practice program So I still got to do it? Oh, no, no, he's done. All right. Let's back out. <laughs> I was like, do we have to do another one? Cheers, Alex. Yeah. Scary guy. Hello. Welcome in. It says, howdy, y'all. How it is going, my guy? Man, we've been nailing these practice programs for this race. All right, let's see what we can do for quality. I don't know if you get more points if you keep going, but I, I just don't feel like keeping, uh, keep going or keeping going. I don't feel like going anymore. I, I don't know what I'm saying, Max. <laughs> okay, don't worry about tires. Just give it <laughs> Cheers, Max. Sure yeah, if you guys are enjoying the stream, feel free to smash that like button for our F1 struggles here. As uh, every like helps out on the YouTube algorithm and also helps me gain an extra five horsepower for every 20 likes. All right, let's see what we can do here for quality. down on the time seems like we gained a majority of our pace like on the second and third sector first sector is normal but then the second third is like where we gained almost all our time Gotta hit stove and club. Program complete and a 
All right, let's go. I didn't think that was a good lap, but they said that that was uh, the optimal lap, so we'll take it. All right, let's turn back to the garage, and then we'll uh, we'll back out to the main menu and put on a better, uh, or not better, but a higher AI. At the same time, let's see what we got here. So yeah, we got all practice programs in, which is great. Now let's spend time repairing the damage to the car. What damage? I didn't even have damage on the car, did I? Let's apply that. This one, no. Oh, it's. Oh, it's already on. Fifty-six. Jesus, it's already at fifty-six percent. That one. Um, eight percent, twenty-seven percent. We got here. Turbocharger. Apply that. Just want to make sure we're not putting any new parts. All right. All right. That's it. Okay. That should be the end for practice one. Then we'll uh we'll get back to the main menu and put on the put on the, the AI a little bit higher. Over the line. Let's see our top. We'll probably put it to like eighty nine. Let's see how that is. Greg Henderson, what's going on? He says, "Hey mate, good luck. GT seven or F one twenty two. If you had to play one game for the rest of your life, ooh." Right now, F122. Right now, F122. I, I think... Right now, where GT7's at, it's just... It's not in a good state. Um, If he could have said GT Sport or F122, I probably would have said GT Sport, to be quite honest. <laughs> I, I had a lot more fun. Or, yeah, fond memories on GT Sport. Don't get me wrong, GT7 is a great game, but it just... Recently, it just has not been... There's just been too many issues with it and stuff, so uh, yeah. And I'm having more fun with this, to be quite honest. All right, um, let me pump up the AI settings. So we'll put it to. Should we do 90? Let's try 90 for this race, or should we do 89? We'll do 89. We'll do 89, and then if we see that we're starting to do all right, then we'll bump it up to 90. For the flashbacks, we'll do. We'll do a medium amount. I don't know how much medium is, but. Yeah, we'll do a medium amount of flashbacks. Alright, I think all the components should be on. Pending, pending, fitted, pending. We'll go to practice 2 just to make sure that the components are on there. And if the components are on there, then we'll, 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 we'll just retire from the session and go straight to qualifying. Let's see, are they on? I think they're on. Do we have to go into a sesh? I'm very confused when it comes to like switching out components and stuff like that because I don't know like when they accept it or when they don't accept it. Okay, it looks like everything has been accepted. So yeah, all right, we should be all right then. Let's retire from this session and go straight to quality. Where do you guys think we can quality for this race? I think we could actually quality in a really, really good spot here. I'm saying... I'm saying, um... T15? Pit stop time? Alright. So I'm gonna say P15. P15 are better for this race if if we if we knock out qualifying. The way we were knocking out these uh, practice programs. But, alright. Here we go, boys and girls. Will this be our best weekend of the year? Of the season, as we now have a better aerodynamic program, or aerodynamics on the car. Our powertrain is pretty decent. Our durability is fairly high. And our chassis is really, really high. Or I don't want to say really, really high, but our chassis is starting to get a bit better. Probably our weakest part of the car right now. Alright, let's get into quality. See, 306, all right. Still good on time. 1,200 resource points. Let's go. I might put into another part here if we have time after quality. 
the Lenovo British Grand Prix. All right, what are we looking at on weather? Huh. No rain in Britain. That is that is unheard of. I don't believe that. That that's every single day I was in England. I swear it was raining. <laughs> I, I I don't believe that there's no rain right now going on. <laughs> okay, let's make sure we have the right car set up. Okay, that should be good. All right, guys, here we go. The British Grand Prix. Ah, uh, see where we can qualify at. I won't be talking this lap because I really want to concentrate. So, see you guys in a minute and 40 seconds in this lap time. A little bit of wheel spin. Dancer cops. Catching up to what is that, a hoss up ahead? Wonder if he's just on his uh, outlap. Yeah, it's Mick. P2? No way. No way we got P2 right off the bat. Come on. That's way too easy if that is. I feel like there was a lot of mistakes I had on that. There's no way we can get P2 right there. It's gotta be a fluke. Yeah, okay. Well, even still, P4? What the hell is going on here? <laughs> Marcus hasn't even put in a lap time yet. We'll fast forward just a bit to like minute 10. So we got going on with time. So yeah, we got knocked down to PA. Okay. I was starting to get a little bit freaked out here. <laughs> Still though, pretty decent qualifying time. And I think we can actually do better. So let me get back to our tires here. I'm going to say, why can't I switch out my tires? Why can't I not switch out my tires? What is going on here? Oh, uh, there we go. Little bug. All right, let's go out, put in another lap time, and then uh, we should be able to hopefully come out with like three minutes to go and, and put in another lap time. The AI is at 89%. I could probably bump it up to 90. We'll see. Try this again. Track definitely has a lot more grip.
Got a really bad run through maggots and Beckett's. Gonna get a little toe from Mick. Or no, it's Magnus in my bad. Oh, we just lost the rear. Get out of the way. Get me out of the way. Get me out of the way. Don't want to get hit. We're just going to come into the pits. All right. Get me out of this tires and put on some new and we'll uh, we'll see how we do. You helped this game. Yeah, Tom, I definitely recommend getting this game. I really, really am enjoying F122. I haven't done any multiplayer competitively. And uh, I think when League starts, it's going to be even more better of a game because... Uh, or better of a game because we're going to be able to race against some actual people that are around our skill level and have some fun with them. But I'm just waiting for a uh, for a League to start here soon. Okay, back. I need to get it to one of my leagues. Switching to this game, so I need to make. Oh yeah, definitely start max servo. Okay, Let's switch over to the softs here, and we should be able to uh, go out and do one final lap here. So let's see how we do. Right now we are P8. I think the last time I checked. Let's see, where are we at? P11, so P11 not too shabby. If we can knock off like four tenths, I think we might gain a couple positions here. But alrighty, here we go guys. All or nothing. Oh, get out of the way, get out of the way. That's a bit sketchy. That was a really, really bad corner. No, it is a little gonna improve. Ah, <laughs> we're losing power. Something's going on. Yeah, like we're losing a lot of time down the straights. That should have been our fastest lap. I'm not sure what happened, but something's going on with our power. I think we're just going to have to deal with it, though. Unfortunately. That's a shame. Is it... We'll have to see after this race. Or not after this race, but after this sesh. With qualifying finished, it's time to remind ourselves once again of our uh, top three. Leclerc, where do we Sainz, qualify at? Max Verstappen. P16? Alright, not too shabby. Really, we're just getting started. I was saying P15 or better, but we almost hit it. Tomorrow. We starting right in front of Stroll, Sonoda. So at least we'll be in front of Yuki, our rival. Marcus did not do so hot, though. Really, really bad qualifying performance from him. All right. Did I do the oil? <laughs> exactly, someone. Did we do the oil change? I don't think I did. <laughs> I definitely want to check out the engine, though, before we go into the race. Because if we're losing, like, three tenths on quali... Or not three tenths, but like a couple tenths on quality. That that adds up. So Yeah, I went up our estimate. Alright, let's see. How is our power unit? So engine's fine. MGUK is good. 
The MGUH, it's a bit worn, but it's nothing with power. Our energy store is a bit high, but we should be all right with that. We don't have to really worry about that. Turbocharger, 43%. Uh, 43%. I think we're alright. I think we're alright. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you guys think this, these... These numbers are good? The only one that we really have to worry about, to be quite honest, is the MGUH and the, uh, energy store. But the MGUH, all it's gonna do is just continuously, um... You know... Degrade the other components. But the energy store, the only thing I'm worried about that is, like, how much we can actually use the, um, ERS throughout the lap. Yeah. <laughs> don't ask you about mechanical stuff, Max. <laughs> Man, I don't even know what I'm doing half the time with this mechanical stuff. I'm just... I'm just guessing. Okay. Well, we'll just continue on. See, can we uh, upgrade any parts right now while we wait? Oh, let's do that. We have just enough for the Monaco. Can't do anything else with the arrow right now. We're just low on R&D points, but I think the next thing that we'll probably upgrade. I guess it depends how much money or how much R&D points we have. But might as well get the monocoque um, upgraded now. And let's see if we can get ourselves some points here, boys and girls. If we can get points this weekend, that'll be huge towards our campaign. Uh, just crossing my fingers. Am I world champ? No, Tom. I'm not world championship. We literally are on the first season. Um, and we're last place. Or, well, Williams is last place. We're right ahead of Williams. So we're 10th. <laughs> Master Dork, welcome in, my guy. We return once again, then, to the home of British okay. motorsport and the birthplace of the Formula One World Championship. It's race day here at Silverstone, and it's time for the British Grand Prix. Hopefully, it's not as crazy as the, the real life British Grand Prix. Silverstone circuit is one of the longest of the season, with 18 corners in the current layout. With average lap speeds reaching around 145 miles per hour, it's also one of the quickest tracks of the year. Watch out for cars taking the right-handers of Abbey and of Cops flat out. All right. So with the race not far away, I forgot who was pulled. I think Leclerc was pulled, right? Rundown looks like. Charles Leclerc lines up on pole position. Uh, I didn't do the my career on F1 2021. I did like one Moving race on and that was it, but I never really played it enough. Verstappen, so yeah, we got the Hamilton, first the Ferrari boys up in Sergio first and Perez, second. And Russell. And we got Verstappen in third, Hamilton, Hamilton fourth, Norris, Perez, Russell's. Bottas, and, yeah. And Daniel Ricardo. Fernand All right. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box and it's fantastic to have you with us here but I'm curious as a man with experience All the best from the start the track, bro hopefully there are plenty of retirements yeah hopefully there's a lot of retirements on this race too overwhelming when you're lining up on I'm the hoping. grid Well I imagine they'll be starting to feel the adrenaline as they anticipate the run down into turn 1 a Look, bit like There I am there I am <laughs> The unknown situation will bring nerves, but that's a good thing. It will keep them focused on the moment. F122 is on console. They said the multiplayer would be cost. Yeah, that's what I heard too, Sean. I don't know if they're going to have a cross platform for everybody. I mean, not, not for everybody, but coming up soon. But I heard that it was coming. So that'd be awesome. Okay. So yeah, 26 laps around Silverstone. We'll put 27.3 because that's what we've been doing. But 1.3. Mm. As far as the car setup, I think we're all right with the way it is. I'm really, really happy with how the car's performing this race. Or at least for practice and quality. All right. Let's see how we do here, guys. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, it does look like me. <laughs> no, yeah, if ACC can get um, cross-platform, then ACC would be, like, 
one of the biggest GT3 games in the world. But I just, I don't know how difficult it is to do cross-platform, to be quite honest. Like, you would, you would think it's kind of easy, because, you, you know, Rocket League does it. What else does cross-platform? Modern, not Modern Warfare, Call of Duty does it. So a lot of games that do cross-platform, but I don't know the ins and outs of development, so maybe it's a lot more difficult than what it seems, you know what I mean? Also, why is our ES just depleting here? Can I not turn off our ERS deployment? <laughs> We're losing a lot of battery. And we kind of need that. Sweet, no rain. No rain in Britain. That sounds like a like a myth. Doesn't sound legal. Actually, I think that, that, that I think that is illegal. If Britain doesn't have any rain <laughs> every day, <laughs> every day. Uh, Jared, welcome in. Okay. trying to charge up the battery but it's not going up it's going down okay let's warm up the rears Alrighty guys, stretch out the back real fast, see how we go. Alright, three, two, one. Decent start, let's see what we can do going into Abbey. Really nothing, just get pitched, oh my goodness. One restart. <laughs> we'll do one restart. <laughs> Alright, here we go. This is the real start. <laughs> you guys saw nothing. Forget what you saw in the last 30 seconds. Make our way through Abby. Oh, whoa! Sorry, they don't want me to. They don't want me to do this race. <laughs> All right. No more. No more. I'm Schumacher. All right. Finally, <laughs> we made it past the first couple of corners. Trying to keep up with these guys up ahead. Okay, seems like you go pretty wide off the cops. Get the maggots and beggars for the first time. Oh, Mick, Mick had a lift. Let's see if we can get around him here going into Stowe. Nice. All right. All right. I'll take that. I mean, it was a, it was a interesting couple of laps, or not couple of laps, but first lap. 
charge you hold, the faster that capacity will drop. Now well, we're all over. Or we're getting swarmed all over by Mick. Ah, he's got us. Whoa, Norris is off. I thought he was going to spin. I really thought he was going to spin right ahead of us. What is this race? Come on, everybody. Keep it on the track. I think I do a, a, a bigger lift off going into cops. We got bets all, all over us. We got Joe going you right behind us. Ooh, very, very close to Bethel. I just stopped break him. DRS is being enabled this lap. We can use DRS when you're within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. Oh, well. Be careful about that. Went to Abby. All right, luckily we got DRS, so we can try harvesting some of our ERS. What? Okay. Gosh, we get one more track extension or track limit, we get a penalty. Yeah, it looks like Mick struggles a little bit going through Megatons and Beckett's. So that's like the second time that I feel like I've gained time on him. Ooh. That was bad. Lost a tremendous amount of time coming out of the club. Like in that wheel spin. Keep it the hell away from that <laughs> fake Astro Turf because we got a track limit last time. Cars are looking alright. The fronts are doing worse than the rears. That's interesting. I, I actually, well, I guess it makes sense actually. Nothing about it. A lot of fast corners. I can see why the fronts are starting to wear off faster than the rears. I wonder if there's going to be a safety car this race, though. Especially with the start that happened on this race. It's almost like it's due for a safety car, to be quite honest.
Come on, we need to catch up to Mick. Not close enough to get DRS. Oh, but Vettel's got DRS. Uh-oh. Oh, yellow flag? What is that for? It's like whatever it is, they got to straighten out. I think there's a Ferrari up ahead. Oh, it's Botas. Oh, and his engine's expired. Free position for us. We are now up into P13, boys and girls. Get in there. Let's go. Just two positions away from points. Or three positions, my bad. Oh no, Vessel, no you don't. Ah, oh, come on, we got three second penalty. Sorry. <laughs> I'll give Fedor the position because we did the flashback. We gotta keep away from track extensions or corner cuts. Yeah, we didn't see anything. <laughs> God, all right, we'll just take the three seconds. Screw it. So touchy on this track. At the moment, the car behind is lapping faster than us by around a second a lap. All that means is that we gotta be as quick as we can and finish ahead a P10 or whoever's behind us, P11, by uh, three seconds if you want to get points. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know Daniel why it's so so uh, sensitive on this track. Whoa, some trouble going on up ahead. These are looking a bit brighter here. We're catching up these guys up ahead. Who's that holding him up? Magnuson? Wonder if he has damage.
At least we're sitting right behind these group, uh, vets at least, and should be able to get DRS for like the time being. Don't let them make any huge mistakes. I feel like we're keeping up with their pace. Ricardo with the lunch. That was sketchy. <laughs> that was really, really sketchy right there. Going to club. Oh, make me contact with Magnuson. Yeah, Magnuson's got a problem here. I'm not sure what it is, but he's definitely got a huge problem. Everyone's just getting around him easily. He's holding everybody up. Joe is trying to catch up to us now. Frustrating because literally points is like three spots away. Oh, go on you, what are you doing? That was very, very desperate right there. If he was going to try to make a move through Abby. We lost touch with Beto. He might have us here going into Stowe. He's got DRS. Yeah, I don't think we got anything for him. It's fine, it's fine. If he's if he's quick, he could pull us up to Vettel. I just don't want to lose touch on that group up ahead. It's like the important thing that we don't lose touch with them. Tires are starting to feel a bit sketchy. So we gotta be careful when we come through some of these quick corners. Yeah, there you go. 
Race engineer even knows. He's like, yeah, it's looking a little bit sketchy out there. Ah. Shit, we're gonna redo that. <laughs> I don't know how many more flashbacks we have. Uh, we need those Alpha Towers behind us to continue fighting. What they're, what they're doing right now is allowing us to pull away, which is great. <laughs> Maybe they can take each other out like they did in the road race. Wouldn't that be nice? It's actually like, it's set up perfectly. All Sonoda has to do is go to the inside, try to make a move on Ghastly. And then both of them spin out. Alright, we're not coming this lap. Alright, here we go, guys. Our one stop. We're going to switch off from the mediums to the hards. And I think uh, our thing our fronts are alright. I think our fronts are alright. It's our, it's our rears that are a little bit sketchy. We just killed a pit crew. Remember? <laughs> that was a fantastic stop. Faster than we were expecting. Sweet. Alright guys. Let's see what we do on the exit. Up to speed now. Let's get some heat into those tires. This is where we struggle, is trying to get heat into the hearts. Yeah, still pretty cold. All right, halfway through the race right now. Whoa, cold tires through cops is not fun. Jeez, Gasly just made up so much time on us. Yeah, that's right now where we're struggling at too is uh is our pace on new tires. She can't seem to get the tire temps up quick enough. And they both got us. <laughs> Lieutenant, how's it going? Oh, I'm enjoying it. I am enjoying it. I'm not enjoying it right now because we were doing so well in the race. 
and uh, we're having some struggles here with the uh, with the hards. We gotta get around Yuki here. Just got him. Let's go. Let's see, if we, let's see if we can get Ghastly here. Pulling away from Yuki, which is great. Now, can we get around Ghastly and just pull away even more so that we can hold our position even with the three second penalty? Still pulling away. What? All right, I have to because that—that—that's BS. Come on. It's like some—it's very inconsistent on this track. Like some some laps, that's fine. Some laps is not fine. Maybe I'm just complaining too much, but I think this track is just all over the place with track limits. Oh, Fernando Alonso's out. There he is. Another free position. Green flag. I don't know if we'll get points, but... Damn it, we're gonna die trying <laughs> on this race. Perfect, come on. Woo, all right, we just got him. A little iffy about the move, but oh well. Try pulling away now.
Come on, we gotta break that DRS. And we just did. I think. <laughs> Ah, this sucks. I hate that we have a three second penalty. Turn out I gotta basically just push, push, push all the way to the end so we can increase the gap so that three second penalty doesn't bite us in the ass at the end. It'd be so nice to know that we beat the Alpha Tauris just on pace. That'd be so great. Oh, a little bit of drama going on up ahead. What just happened there? Looks like the Haas just got squeezed out. Where was that? Oh no, it's, it's Ricardo though. Something's happened to him. He's got damage. Either he's got damage or he's got dirty tires because he got pushed out wide heading to Stowe. No, don't tell me that. Don't tell me there's going to be rain. I told you guys. No rain around Britain. That sounds illegal. I was right. On the bright note, though, we're starting to pull away from Gaston Sonoda. Thank God it got us right ahead of us because he's allowing us to save ERS and we're just pulling away from the Alphataris right behind. Still need to make the gap three seconds or larger. Just because we had that three second penalty, unfortunately. Due to the shitty track limits on this track. <laughs> but it looks like we're about to hit that three second mark, so that's good. Unless we get just like really really bad tire wear in the next three or four laps it doesn't seem to be slowing down that gap nah nothing interesting just yet we, we caught 30 cars after he got pushed out heading to Stowe but then that 
Nothing really. We're just trying to extend the gap away from Gasly and uh, Sonoda. Definitely think this would have been a uh, points finish uh, if, we, if everything would have gone our way. It's a couple mistakes I did on the race that definitely could have uh, reduced the time in the race. I need these two to behind to start fighting. Come on. Let's continue growing this gap. Uh oh, I'm seeing the clouds. No, I don't want to see the clouds. <laughs> this race needs to finish like pronto because I do not want to be seeing any droplets on my windscreen. <laughs> I think he's gonna say, okay, rain coming in 10 minutes or five minutes or two laps. It's not what we need. Oh, uh, looks like they're fighting back there. Let's go. Come on, baby. Let's catch up to Ricardo and just stay with him. Yeah, the tires are looking really, really good. We should be alright these next three laps. Shout to Joe Guan Yu. So Will Smith coming out of the club. Yeah, we should be good on fuel all the way to the end. Just double check. Yeah, we're good. It's like Joko on you just overcooked his tires or something because he is now struggling. And the guy was just basically made up like a two second gap. <laughs> Come on, Denny. Sim Hub, welcome in. <laughs> Thank you so much for the like. Really, really appreciate it, my guy. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Side by side between Joe and Daniel. We have nowhere to go. Whoa. <laughs> Even side by side, they're quicker than me on that part of the track. I just struggle so much on the power. 
Ooh, that could have been bad. Oh my gosh, can you guys break it up? <laughs> I can't believe how long they kept it together. Oh, what do we do here? Did we try going three of us? Nah. <laughs> They're still side by side. Oh, a little bit of contact. <laughs> no way. Okay, expect to see some rain about 10 to 15 minutes from now. All right, these guys got to break it up because the alphas are catching up. Oh, uh, side by side into maggots, maggots. Oh, the god of thinks twice about it. Can't wait till we get to the hangar straight. Enable DRS and ERS. We can't really do anything though. Gosh. I just don't have the pace. We definitely got some dirty air going on here. That's not good. Uh oh, the gap between us and Gassy dropped down to five seconds. Right, we've got enough fuel for three more laps. We can't let the gap drop more. Please, please just break it up, guys, and just run your line. Okay. I wonder if it's because we've been following these two for so long. Or maybe it's just natural wear and tear. Oh, Ricardo goes into the inside of Joe. <laughs> oh, side by side, the back to back. Someone's gonna have to give here. Nobody gives. Oh, the contact. We're gonna sneak it onto the inside of the car to go into stove. <clears throat> Just got Ricardo. Keeping an eye on that gap between us and Gasly, though. Okay, come on, come on. Last time through Mega to Beckett. Ah, oh, he's gonna have DRS though. So. Trying to cover him, going through Stowe. Ah, oh, he just got us on the outside. I think we're going to be able to hold off our P14, though. I think we just got enough of a gap between us and Gasly. Oh. Yes, we just made it. P14, guys. Woo! That wasn't our best finish, but that was our most dominant performance in the car. Jeez. Wow. <laughs> that was really, really fun with Rick. No, yeah, Danny Rick loves the overtakes. <laughs> oh. Cheers, Max. Thank you.
Yeah, we finally got ourselves a dominant performance there. Like, we didn't have to really rely on weather, on cars retiring, cars crashing. It was just pure pace that we had right there. And if it wasn't for that three-second penalty, we definitely... Uh, I don't know, I probably could have been a little bit more aggressive in trying to go for P12, but either way, P14, with the car that we have right now, I'll take it. I will take it. Oh. <laughs> Cheers, Sim. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. Look at that, Hamilton gets to celebrate the British Grand Prix in, uh, in the podium. <laughs> That was a lot of fun with Danny Rick, though. That was a lot of fun. World Championship, here's how, things look in the how close team. was it? Let me see. Leclerc, currently leading the championship so, standings, oh. lead even further with <laughs> we results. just beat Gasly so, by a ten, due to Who because of the penalty. And we gained two positions there, so I'll take it. Marcus over here finishing in seventeenth place, ahead of both the Williams, the, the Al, well, the Alpine and the Alfa Romeo, both DNF, but in front of both of the Williams, and in front of the Aston Martin Lance Stroll, so GG, GG to Marcus. Yeah, probably again, not our best finish, but our best performance for any race of the season so far. I'm, I'm really, really excited now to go to, to Austria, to France, Spa, Hungary. I'm I'm excited for the rest of the season now. We are we we found some pace finally. It took us almost nine ten rounds, but we finally found something. <laughs> yes, Daniel. Yes, for sure. If you guys enjoyed that, hit that like button. If you guys want to help out the channel, <laughs> aye. So sponsorship renewal here, guys. These are these are the big moments right here. We're, we're gonna see what we're gonna do with with our sponsor and with Marcus here. We might switch out Marcus for another driver, but we will see right now. Let's see. Um, let's see what our manage sponsors. What can we get for a better sponsorship here? Weekly income ninety thousand. What does Lupo want to do? Nine hundred one thousand per week, but one hundred and forty-eight for the gold bonus. I think right now we need kind of a weekly income. I I don't think the gold bonuses should be our our objective. Achieve a top ten finish during the race. That actually doesn't seem too bad. We're we're, we're almost at the top ten mark. Utepe. I'll qualify a rival. Huh. It's 115,000 per week. 70 days. Our qualifying your rival seems a lot easier than finishing top 10. Especially with the car that we have. Salve. 63 days. Beat your rival during a race. Hmm. It's 104,000. Um, I think we're going to have to go with Utepe. Uterpe. I think that's how you say it. Uterpe? 115,000 per week. And if we beat our rival. Yeah, we'll do this one. Alright. And then uh, contract's going to be expiring in seven days here. Let's see, how's our driver market looking? <laughs> Let's get Michael Schumacher or Ait and Senna. We don't have Lampras. Damn, they'd be killing it. <laughs> Imagine if we got one of these guys, they'd be killing it. Lewis Hamilton is the most expensive one. I can see that. Max Verstappen. Sebastian Vettel. Damn, Seb I, it shocks me how expensive Vettel is. It really does. Like, Vettel, don't get me wrong. Vettel is, is going to be a legend. He's going to be all time one of the all-time greats. But right now, he is not in form. I don't know if it's the car or if it's him or both. But yeah. I don't think he has Jacques. All right, what what are our stuff right here? So we got Robert Schwartzman, one million. Theo. What's the difference between these two? 
experience raise 64 I'll have to see how are we looking at our R&D what's our chassis looking like 16 days for development that's still in development we can't buy that because we don't have an extra resource point room With all this that's in development oh, we can't buy any more parts we don't have enough R&D points so we, yeah, it's, it's not really worth looking at that because we can't even upgrade anything. Yeah, our chassis is going to be a lot better compared to everybody else. Or not everybody else, but compared to the Williams. So that's going to be good. All right, let's um look at that. Let's do... Um, let's do something for the arrow. And we'll advance the time. Oh, okay. So we're going to go straight to the Austrian Grand Prix. We're not going to have to renew any contract. And the MGUH, we might have to replace that. So we might have to take a grid penalty this race. Maybe. We'll see. Standing-wise, we're still pretty good. Damn, if we could just get... If we can finish... In ninth place, we'll be in 18th. That'd be great. I was not even close to expecting us to be anywhere near finishing the points in the first season. Just because this game is so difficult, in my opinion. And I'm so rusty on it. But that last race... Whew. Just going to be any more happier with that result. Alrighty. Well, we've been going at it for about three and a half hours. I think we're going to call it there, boys and girls. I think I'm going to call it there. Let's see. Yeah, I've been going for about 3 hours and 14 minutes. It's 4 o'clock over here at my time. And, uh... Yeah, we might have... To, we'll see if we do one tomorrow or if we do one... On Monday. Either way... We're going to do one... By Monday. <laughs> that's, that's all I can tell you. But I want to give everybody a huge thank you for tuning in. This was probably our best stream so far on F122. You guys absolutely killed it with the support. We got all the way up to almost 200 viewers. We got 198 peak. So really, 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 really appreciate it. Thank you so much. If you guys like the stream, smash that like button. Help us out on the YouTube algorithm. Hit that red subscribe button if you want to catch more content. Uh, I see Crash Dangle just subscribed. Uh, ARV. Racing, I hope I said your name correctly. Just subscribe, Papa. Just subscribe. Sanctified and purified, subscribe. Oh, you guys, thank you so much for subscribing. Um, I do want to say also a huge thank you to Sir Max Turbo. I see you in the chat, mate. Really, really appreciate you um, giving those gift subs. So if you guys have or gift uh, membership, if you haven't yet, hit that membership button on the top. I think it should still be on the chat. And uh, claim your membership. Uh, I do also want to give a huge thank you to View from Lookout for the donation. Really appreciate it if you're still in the chat. Yes, Max. And, and if you guys want to catch um, more content or just hang out with all the people that you saw in chat, hit that Discord uh, link right there. Pin it on the top right now. If I can, let me do it here. All right. Sounds good, Master Dark. Hope you have a good Saturday. Same here, Daniel. Spa is going to be like our biggest, um, our biggest, uh, how can I say it? Like, test to see where we're at on the season because that's going to be right after the summer break. And we should have a really, really good idea of how well our car is going to fare for the rest of the season because we're going to have to prepare ourselves for the next season, um, by that point. But, alrighty, guys. Um, yeah, it's going to be it for today. Hope you guys have a great um, rest of your Saturday or Sunday. Tomorrow's the Austrian Grand Prix, so uh, go Ferrari, even though I know the Red Bulls are probably going to win. But hey, I, a man can dream. A man can dream. <laughs> Take care, Sim Hub. But okay, guys. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Whenever you guys are watching, whatever time you guys are watching. Hope you guys have a good one, and I will see you tomorrow or Monday for the next part of, our, of my career mode. Until then, guys, peace.